Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calumsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, this Easter Friday, we are being called by Jesus Christ to recognize Him as He is risen from the dead. And so as we encounter the risen Lord in this Eucharistic celebration, let us first prepare our hearts by acknowledging our sins and asking Him for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, receive our, our prayer. prayer. 
you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them. By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. The Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and he has given us light. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone.
This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathanael from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is very important that in our Gospel passage today, Jesus chose to appear to his disciples in the Sea of Tiberias or the Sea of Galilee. And if we would remember this place, this Sea of Galilee, this Sea of Tiberias was a very important place for the disciples. Ito pong lugar na ito. kung saan napakahalagang lugar na ito para sa mga alagad at napakahalaga rin sapagkat dito pinili ni Jesus magpakita sa kanyang mga alagad. Ito ang lugar na napakahalaga sa buhay nila bilang mga alagad ni Jesus. Let us remember that Peter and the other disciples were called 
while they were fishing in the Sea of Tiberias, it was there where they experienced being called by Jesus and telling them to become fishers of men. It is also in the Sea of Tiberias where they experienced the first miracles of Jesus, where, as is in the story today, they were having a difficult time to get fish, and Jesus told them to cast out into the deep so that they could gather fish. This is also the place where they were tempted. They were afraid because of the strong winds. And Jesus stopped the storm, stopped the winds, and they experienced another miracle of our Lord. This is where they were called. This is where they experienced the miracles of Jesus. This is where they feared for their lives. And Jesus beautifully chosen this place so that this is where also the resurrection will be manifested. Kung saan sila tinawag sa lugar na yon, sa dagat ng Galilea, sa lawa ng Galilea, Sea of Tiberias, kung saan sila tinawag ng Panginoon, kung saan sila binigyan ng misyon ni Jesus, kung saan sila ay nakaranas ng himala ni Jesus, kung saan sila ay nakaranas subukin ng malakas na alon at malakas na hangin at natakot ang kanilang pananampalataya doon. Doon sila pinili ni Jesus at doon din pinili ni Jesus na ipakita sa kanila ang kanyang sarili na muling nabuhay. My dear brothers and sisters, let us remember today, where was I called? Where was the place? Where was the event? Where was this time when I was called? Where was this? Where was the place where I received commissioning from the Lord? And where is this place where I experienced fear and trembling because of trials and suffering? For sure, Jesus will also let you feel the power of His resurrection in that very place where you were called, where you were tempted, where you suffered, where you experienced His miracles. Certainly, Jesus will also let you manifest His resurrection there in that place. Where is your sea of Tiberias? Tandaan po natin at ngayong araw, pagnilayan po natin, saan kaya ako tinawag ng Panginoon? Maaring ako ay isang doktor ngayon, tinawag bilang isang doktor, manggagamot ng katawan ng tao sa ospital. Yan ang aking lugar kung saan tinawag ako ng Panginoon Binigyan niya ako ng misyon. Diyan din sa ospital, nakakita ako ng mga bagay na hindi ko maipaliwanag na kapangyarihan ni Jesus. Dito rin sa lugar na ito, kung saan nakaranas kang subukin, matakot, makaramdam ng trials, pagsubok sa buhay. Huwag kang tatakbo, aalis sa lugar na yan. Dahil dyan din, ipapakita ni Jesus sa iyo, ipaparanas ni Jesus sa iyo ang kapangyarihan ng kanyang muling pagkabuhay. Do not run 
from your Sea of Tiberias, the disciples experienced many things in that sea. And in the end, Jesus showed them the power of his resurrection in that very place. Where is your Sea of Tiberias? Let us not leave there. Let us be present in that place. In our first reading today, from the Acts of the Apostles, we see Peter and the other disciples going back to Jerusalem. Jerusalem where they were persecuted. Jerusalem where they know the chief priests, the Sadducees, they were all there, the enemies of Jesus. They should have left Jerusalem, but no, they return to Jerusalem. They know Jerusalem was important to Jesus. They know they will suffer there, but they return to Jerusalem because they know that Jesus will manifest the power of his resurrection in that very place. My dear brothers and sisters, let us think today, where is my Sea of Tiberias? Where is my Sea of Galilee? Remember the time that I was called by Jesus in this very place, in this very time, in this very circumstance, in this event. This is my Sea of Tiberias. I was called here. I was commissioned here. I experienced the power of Jesus here. I experienced trials and difficulties here. Do not leave the Sea of Tiberias. Jesus will appear there. Jesus will let you experience the resurrection in your Sea of Tiberias. Mga minamahal na kapatid, kung saan tayo tinawag, kung saan tayo pinili ng Diyos, kung saan naranasan natin ang kanyang pagmamahal, naranasan natin ang kanyang mga himala at kapangyarihan, diyan din tayo makakaranas ng biyaya ng kanyang muling pagkabuhay. Allow Jesus to call you, to uh, let you feel His power in that part of yourselves in the Sea of Tiberias. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ stays with us to guide the work of His Church and to be with us in all our struggles and trials. Let us pray to Him with complete trust and let us say, Risen Lord, renew our faith. Risen Lord, renew our faith. That the whole Church may be renewed by the grace of Easter, let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord renew, renew our, our faith, faith, that the peace which the risen Lord brought to his apostles be given to the people of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord renew our, our faith, faith, that we may help the needy and feed them in body and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord renew our, our faith, faith that the sick and the handicapped may receive comfort and hope from those who assist them. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, renew our faith, faith, that those who have gone before us may be welcomed to the shore of eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen, Risen Lord, Lord, renew our faith. faith. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass. And we also offer special prayers for our frontliners who are working very hard at this time. We also 
offer prayer, especially for those who are sick right now, especially those who are fighting COVID-19 in their bodies. We also pray for the dead, those who, has, who have passed away from this life, especially because of COVID-19. We pray for their families, and we lift up all of these intentions to the Lord in our hearts. God, our Father, you restored us to yourself through the resurrection of your Son. Hear our prayers. Strengthen us in giving witness to our Easter faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray, the solemn exchange brought about by these paschal offerings that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy, thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Regina Celi, Alleluia.